friendship is a super important part of Stardew Valley, from letting you get 100% completion to just marrying someone. However, the fastest way to gain it is often hard to find out and takes a long time. So today I will be explaining how friendship works and going over every single character's story and what items you should give to them. The people who are just looking for one specific character, I will be leaving chapters in the description so you can find whoever you need really quickly. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. Friendship is represented by hearts, and each heart equals 250 friendship points. You can gain friendship by talking to villagers, also, if they are performing some sort of special action, like Sam riding a skateboard for example, an extra couple of friendship points. Completing an item delivery for them. Giving them a gift they like. Okay, well, let's go back into gifts quickly. You gain friendship mainly via gifting, but gifting is affected by many things, such as if they like the gift, is it their birthday, is it the Winter Star Festival, what quality is the gift, etc. But generally, as a rule of thumb, you want to always give people gifts they love, at high qualities, and never try to forget their birthdays. That's pretty much it for gifting. Specific numbers for amount of friendship gained for doing these actions will be shown on screen now, and the article of friendship will be linked in the description down below if you want to do a little bit more reading on it. This was a pretty brief summary of it. You can also gain friendship by inviting them to the movie theater, buying them a snack, or making a certain choice in a hard event, like doing an option they enjoy or agree with. Friendship can go down in many ways, like not talking to the villager, which causes the friendship to decay, However, one thing to keep in mind is, the friendship doesn't decay if the character is already at 10 hearts, or max hearts in the case of bachelors. Giving them gifts they dislike, hitting them with a slingshot, rubbing through a trash can in front of them, and by in front of them I mean within 7 tiles of them, except for Linus of course, because he's a homie. And that's pretty much it. So there's not a ton of ways to lose friendship, and you mainly lose them just by doing dumb things, i.e. shooting them with a slingshot, the trash can directly in front of them, etc. Before we dive into the NPCs, let me just really quickly talk about universal likes and universal loves. Basically, these are things that every single character likes or loves. You can use them for really fast gains. I normally plant a orchard full of trees and use those, since they can also get higher quality over time for even quicker gains. A full list of universal likes and universal loves will be linked in the description down below and also be scrolling on screen right now. Now into the NPCs. Like I said, chapters are in the description if you need just one character. If not, just sit down, relax, enjoy a little bit of lore, a little bit of description for them, and yeah, that's it. Alex. If you're looking for an all-around good fellow, then Alex is the way to go. However, his life has not been super easy, unfortunately. According to the hard events, his father was an abusive drunk and his mother died from some sort of unknown disease, and he now lives with his grandparents. Very sad. To make friends with him, there isn't really an easy thing to give to him every day, as his universal likes, complete breakfast, and salmon dinner are not easy to get early game, and even late game to be honest. The easiest thing to give him in my opinion is an egg. Get a coop and some chickens really really quickly, so that's what I'd do personally. Also, make sure you don't miss his birthday on summer 13th either. Elliot. Alright. I'm gonna be honest here, I don't like Elliot. He comes off as a little bit of a, um, you know, better than thou type of guy. But anyways, his entire personality is pretty much just based around writing a book, which, I mean, I guess that's kinda interesting, I guess. But anyways, away from him, because like, you know, I hate him. Uh, the cheapest thing you can give him is probably a pomegranate, and if you chose the bat cave, you can get a pomegranate even easier without having to buy an expensive tree. Make sure you don't miss his birthday on fall 5th, also. Harvey. Harvey is probably one of the sweetest characters and has one of the best character arcs for growing and developing. He overcomes his fear of heights going to hot air balloon with you simply, well, because he loves you. It's honestly one of the most wholesome scenes in all of Stardew Valley. However, the easiest gift to give him in my opinion is probably pickles or coffee. You can buy coffee from the Star Drop Saloon for only 300 gold, which is kind of a bargain to be honest. And his birthday is on the 14th of winter. Sam. Sam has a pretty simple story. He's pretty much just basically a musician trying his best to make it in the world. Not super memorable other than that. He does have a cool cutscene where you go to Zuzu City and you watch him perform at a concert, which I think is actually really cool and I wish we could go to Zuzu City more. For early game, pizza is the best gift because it can be purchased in the Star Drop Saloon for a decently cheap price. For late game, when you have the desert unlocked and have the perk that makes all forageables iridium, giving him iridium cactus is the easiest way to level him up quickly. However, make sure you don't miss his birthday on the 17th of summer. Sebastian. Sebastian is probably one of the favorite bachelors. His story is a bit basic in my opinion, but definitely a decent choice for most people. The easiest gift to give him in my opinion is probably Frozen Tears early game. Forageable you can find on the ice levels in the mines, and are quite common. Sashami is also pretty easy to get, with it costing just one fish and getting the recipe quite easily. Just need to get three hearts with Linus. So overall, pretty easy to make friends with him, and a decent romance option. 
His birthday is on winter 10. Shane. Shane is a pretty divisive character, and I personally don't like him very much, but I will try my best to give an unbiased summary of his story. Basically, Shane has suffered from depression and alcoholism his whole life, and his story explores the struggle and him trying to get better and improve. It does get nicer the more you get to know him, but I still just really don't like him. Anyways, some easy stuff to get him is, uh, beer. Definitely not encouraging addiction, but you know, you know that because, you know, friendship. You can make it from one wheat or buy it for 400 gold at the Star Drop Saloon. And if you just head to the Star Drop Saloon at like 8-ish every night, you can buy him a beer and head on your way. His birthday is on spring 20th. Alright, now on to the female bachelors. Abigail. Abigail is one of the most popular female NPCs for marriage, mainly because she is a gamer girl, I think, and also she likes to eat rocks, and I think people can relate to that for some reason. Her story involves her rebelling against her parents because she does not have normal, quote, interest that the parents expect her to have. Pretty decent story that I think a ton of people can relate to, actually. If you want to make friends with her quickly, you can give her amethyst, or give her a gold star pumpkin if you want even faster gains. Make sure you don't miss her birthday on fall 13th. Emily. Emily doesn't really have a super great story, she pretty much just likes sewing and stuff, I guess. She likes rocks like amethyst, aquamarine, emerald, jade, ruby, and topaz. So pretty easy to make friends with her, but not a super interesting character besides acid strip heart events. Her birthday is spring 27th. Oh boy, here we go. It's not a secret that I pretty much hate Haley with every fiber of my being, but she does have a decent story, I have to admit. Basically, she's rich and a jerk and judges people, but she tries to, like, not do that anymore, I guess. Anyways, I still hate her. The easiest thing to get her is probably the coconut from the desert, and once you have the perk that gives you all Iridium forageables, you can raise it super quickly. Or sunflowers earlier game. Leah. Leah is probably one of my favorite characters, and I almost always marry her. Her story is not super good, I guess, but it's pretty much about her escaping her past in Zuzu City and her terrible boyfriend. And trying to make it selling art. You also get to punch the boyfriend, so that's fun. Early game players buy salad in the Star Drop Saloon, and later game players use Iridium Gochis and Iridium Truffles for faster gains. Her birthday is Winter 23rd. Maru. I've never played a ton of attention to Maru, because she's always hiding off Doctor's place or in her basement. But she seems like a decent choice, and it's relatively easy to romance. She likes some bars like gold bars, iridium bars, radioactive bars, strawberries, and cauliflowers. So all of those are good for her to get. Her story seems kind of nah, though. Her birthday is summer 10. Penny. Penny is, like, a very good person who pretty much just likes taking care of kids and teaching them, etc. She kind of seems like the housewife type, you know? Her story is pretty much just getting away from Pam, to be honest. You can give her emeralds and diamonds, or gold melons for even quicker gains. Make sure you don't miss her birthday on Fall 2nd. Alright, away from the spouses, and now on to the non-romanceable NPCs. Caroline is Pierre's wife and the mother of Abigail. Her main story centers around T, the worst artisan good in the game, and her cheating with the wizard to have Abigail because Pierre is a terrible husband. She's kind of annoying to get the things she likes, but the easiest are probably green tea after you get her to two hearts so you can get tea plants, or summer spangles, which you can find in the secret woods after summer. Her birthday is winter 7th. A lot of Clint's story involves him trying to get a date with Emily. However, he is very awkward and shy and struggles to ask her out. I think a lot of people can actually relate to Clint, but for some reason people just don't like him very much, which I find kind of strange. His main use is for giving upgrading tools and cracking open geos, etc. You make friends with him but quickly by giving him beer at the bar every night or giving him gen stones, like emerald, amethyst, or aquamarine to name a few. Demetrius. Demetrius is a pretty forgettable character in my opinion, but he is the father of Maru and Sebastian, and is married to Robin. The e easiest thing you can give him in my opinion is probably strawberries. If you give him gold star strawberries, you will shoot up in friendship. And if you give him one on his birthday, summer 19th, you will get friends even faster. The Dwarf. The Dwarf is one of my favorite NPCs because he sells me bombs, and I love bombs. However, he does not have a super detailed story behind him. He was in some sort of fight between his people and the Shadow People, but sadly we don't know a ton about that kind of lore besides that tidbit of information. He likes all kind of gemstones, but the easiest thing to give him is probably Topaz or an Omni Geode. You really need those things, besides getting that fancy hat or donating it to the museum. For some reason I thought he wouldn't have a birthday, but he actually does on the 22nd of summer. Evelyn. Evelyn is the sweet old grandma of Starter Valley and is married to George, and is the grandparent of Alex. She 
She doesn't have a huge story, it's mainly about taking care of George and Alex. If you want to get friendship with her, grow a few beets, fairy roses, or tulips. You can use this to raise your hearts very quickly, due to the bonuses from stars and her birthday, on Winter 20. George. George is grumpy old grandpa of Stardew Valley, and used to be a farmer like you, and often boasts that he could show you a thing or two if it wasn't so darn old. And if that isn't annoying enough, he only has two loved gifts, leeks and fried mushrooms. So if you want to make friends with them right away, you have to sacrifice a good food source. In leeks, unfortunately. Gus. Gus is the guy that holds the whole town together with his yummy food and generosity. He's shown to be a very nice guy who is quite selfless because he gives Linus food so he doesn't have to go through trash cans. And this proves that Gus basically just doesn't want anyone in Stardew Valley to go hungry, which is very, very commendable in my opinion. He also likes diamonds and oranges, but I normally just buy him beer and give it to him. Make sure you don't miss his birthday on the 8th of summer. Jazz. Jazz is one of the two children in the town, and is the niece of Marty, and the goddaughter to Shane. She likes fairy roses, which is probably the easiest thing to get to her. She does not really have a cool story, she just kinda exists, I guess. Her birthday is on summer 4th. Jody is the mother of Sam and Vincent. Her story is actually pretty cool, and it's heavily hinted that she hates her life and kids and wants to leave, which is an interesting dynamic. She's also married to Kent. She likes diamonds and a bunch of other food, like fried eel, pancakes, and rhubarb pie. Her birthday is on Fall 10th. Kent. Kent is missing the first year in Stardew Valley, so won't be surprised if some people didn't even know he existed. He sadly has severe PTSD and served in the military. I honestly feel really bad for him and his family due to the pain that the war has caused them. His favorite stuff is really annoying to get, with it being fiddlehead risotto and roasted hazelnuts. So I just give him beer in the bar. His birthday is spring 4th. Krobus. Krobus is a favorite, and people love him for some reason. I honestly just don't even know why. Um, like, he's a cool dude, but he does not have a super intricate story sadly, so we don't know a ton about his past, or how he got into the sewer for example. He likes pumpkins, diamonds, iridium bars, and void eggs. I normally just buy void eggs from him for $5,000 and give it back to him for easy heart gains. His birthday is on winter 1st. Leo is a new character added in 1.5 update and resides on Ginger Island. He's a traumatic past unfortunately, with his family going missing or dying on a boat, and him washing up on Ginger Island and being taken in by the birds. He sadly has PTSD, which is very, very unfortunate. I normally just give him a mango, and if the mango tree is down long enough, it can actually turn into gold star mangoes, which gives him even faster gains. His birthday is on summer 26th, so make sure you pop down and give him a mango to make his day. Lewis is a pretty controversial guy to say the least. He uses town tax money to make statues of himself, which is questionable to say the least. And is also in an affair with Marty, but he won't tell the town for some reason. Overall, a shady dude who might not be fit to run a town to be honest. Anyways, you can give him green tea or hot peppers, whichever comes first, for quick gains. His birthday is on spring 7th. Linus. I've already gone super in depth into Linus' story in the Linus Iceberg, so I'm not going to go into it here, but I will have a card on screen now if you want to check it out. Pretty cool video in my opinion. He likes cactus and coconuts, both of which you can get easier stars for, so you can get super quick 10 hearts with him. Make sure to give him a nice present on winter 3rd. Marnie. Marnie is the caretaker for Shane and Jazz, and a pretty decent person. Apart from her constantly leaving the store in the middle of the day. Her story mainly centers around the affair with Lewis, which is pretty good tea and a decent story. She loves diamonds and cakes, you can get hearts with her pretty quickly with those two things. Her birthday is Fall 18th. Pam is once again a pretty divisive character, thanks to Dangerously Funny's constant slander in his videos. But besides her alcoholism, she is a decent character that has obviously tried to do good, even if she has harmed Penny and others with her drinking problems. I think she's a good person deep down, but she just needs to get her drinking under control. She likes mead, pale ale, and beer. So I normally just buy her a beer and give it to her at the bar off. Definitely not encouraging alcoholism once again. <laughs> her birthday is spring 18th. Pierre. Pierre is a guy hated by most people, including myself. He chose greed and forgetting about his friends, family, and everything else but himself and money. He often tries to scam people with exorbitantly priced goods, and claims to have hand-grown crops when you're the actual one growing them. Pretty much he's a slippery snake that is just money-hungry, ugh, maybe even more than Morris to be honest, and I wouldn't trust him further than I could throw him. Just as annoying as his personality, the only thing he likes is fried calamari, which is super annoying to good, so I wouldn't just, ugh, I don't know, I'd just give him nothing and like shoot him with a slingshot every time I see him to be perfectly honest. Jokes aside, I wouldn't really want to cook something every single time I wanted to give him a gift, so I just give him something from a fruit tree or a diamond for an easy leg to get, not having to make a dish just for him. 
Robin. Robin is that character that everyone thought you could marry for some reason. Or maybe my <laughs> stream chat is just really weird. She's the mother of Sebastian Amaro and likes building and science. Normally buy her spaghetti from the storage drop saloon and give it to her for quick gains early on, or use gold or iridium goat cheese later on. Her birthday is fall 21st. Also, a quick tip, when you're building something on her farm, you can actually still give her gifts, so you don't even have to go to her store if you want to give her cool gifts. Sandy. Sandy's a super forgettable character, sadly, due to the fact that she only comes out of her tiny shop once a year. I normally forget she exists unless I'm buying copious amounts of starfruit seeds for mad profits. She is really good friends with Emily and her story centers around that. She likes forageables like crocus, daffodil, and sweet peas, which you can all get iridium or gold quality super fast for easy heart gains. Her birthday is on fall 15th, so make sure you don't miss it. Vincent. Another one of those children that everyone forgets about. I literally know nothing about him, except that Penny tutors him and that he's friends with Jazz. He likes grapes, ginger ale, and snails, so you can get all those things pretty easily. His birthday is spring 10th, so you can boost your friendship pretty quickly, even with just a liked gift. Willie. Willie's a pretty cool dude and the fisherman of Stardew Valley. He provides super useful things, like a way to get to Ginger Island, and fishing rods for early game money making. He likes some fish like catfish, super cucumber, and sturgeon. He also likes pumpkins and diamonds, so if you give him gold pumpkins, you can boost him super quickly. His birthday is summer 24. Wizard. The wizard is a weird dude, and kind of admits to spying on people in Stardew Valley, which is kind of creepy in my opinion. He is very good friends with Linus, which is a point in my book, but only barely. Just bring him a solar and void essence every once in a while, and just forget about him other than that. Don't forget his birthday on the 17th of winter, however. Alright, that's pretty much it. Hope you learned something and enjoyed the video. If you did, check out some other videos on my channel, or subscribe. Also join my Discord, we are very close to partner, and that might be kinda cool in my opinion. Alright, see you guys later, thanks so much for watching, bye.